so excited to be filming this video. I'm just excited to be filming a video for YouTube, period. It's been so long since I've been able to do this and I'm ready to get back into it. Hopefully you guys can hold me accountable for making a video a week at least. And yes. For today's video, my main objective is to catch everybody up because it has been a freaking while. I will put timestamps down below in the description um, if you wanted to just like kind of fast forward through the video on certain parts just to get updates on certain things. But yeah, let's get into the video. So first to start off, um, kids. So I think my last video I was pregnant with Asa. Um, I don't even remember what my last video was. Now I have Junior, who is three years old, and Asa, who is one years old. They're pretty much exactly two years apart. They are my favorite human beings in the world. They are completely opposite kids. Junior is very, he wants it his way and that's it. While Asa is very, she just go with the flow, like completely opposite kids, but I love them to death. So I had Asa back in September of 2021, and it was kind of a rough, rough uh, birthing session. Um, uh, she came early, she came at 36 weeks exactly. They tried to stop the contractions, but it didn't happen, so she came on out. I did get an epidural, and it did not work. I felt everything. That was great. I have so much PTSD from that. I did experience some postpartum anxiety and depression, so I had to get back on my meds, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with being medicated, if it helps you. So I got back on my meds for my anxiety. Things have been great since then. Junior started pre-K three. He's doing great. He knows his shapes, letters, uh, numbers. Sometimes he kind of, like I said very kind of wants to do whatever he wants to do so sometimes he'll come to for you sometimes he'll be funny and put like a little 13 in the middle they're doing great um love them to pieces you will see more of them in the upcoming videos hopping into now my relationship an update on my relationship as you can see still no ring anthony and i are still together Still don't have a ring yet, but hopefully 2023 is my year. We moved into a house. Uh, we've already been living together, obviously, as you've seen in like our other videos. But now we're not renting anymore. We own this house that we live in. I'm so excited to do a home tour for you guys. It's not, it's still not put together. It's a mess, but it's so cute. Like I call it our little James Cottage because it's just like a little white house. and. Of course, there's work to be done on it, but I, I love it, I love it. So we signed on this house last year, so we've been living here pretty much a full year. Now moving on to school. Obviously, I'm out of school. I um, graduated 2021 in May, and then I was working as a grad pharmacist, and so you can't do that for too long, so you had to take your Naplex. I failed my Naplex, y'all. Like, I would do a separate video on that if you want me to. I will talk about why I think I failed, what I did to pass the second time, blah, 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 what happens. Cause you know, when you fail, you also lose your job because now you're not, you don't have a license. Like, so you can't continue to work. I failed the Naplex, didn't have a job, went broke. Like I was, mm, that was probably rock bottom right there. Like, like what am I gonna do? I mean, the only thing I could do was just study all day, every day, but it's like, you're also broke. You can't bring anything for your family. Like, not bringing in any money for your family. It's just, it was a rough period. I took the NAPLEX the second time. I did pass, but I do think that's what put me into labor with ASA. I was pretty much 36 weeks pregnant, sitting for a six hour exam. A six hour exam, stomach out like this, like could barely breathe. And then I went into labor a few days after taking my new class. And I passed. Um, and so pretty much like once I gave birth to Asa, it was like the next day. And I'm like in the hospital bed, sending in my licenses and like trying to get my job back, get it started. But then that was still rough because now I'm on maternity leave. And guess who didn't get maternity leave? Or at least paid for maternity leave? Me, because I lost my job while I was an intern. So. That was like six more weeks of just no money. 
and now a newborn baby. So, and I think that's what really played a role in my anxiety and my depression. Nonetheless, we are healing, thriving, doing good now. After that, I started working as a pharmacist. I had got a job, accepted the offer, blah, blah, blah. Now, I got a new offer. I am going to be PIC, which is pharmacist in charge, at a different location, which is right down the street from my house. It's gonna be super easy to drop the kids off at school and then just go to work. I got pretty much like a $15 raise from where I was like at. So things are looking up. It's just been so great right now. Lately, like my day-to-day -day things have been waking up early in the morning, going to the gym, because I just want to get my body back right. Right now I still have my mom pooch and stuff like that. So I want that to kind of go away. But yes, yeah, so I've been going back to the gym. I've been getting closer with God. So on Tuesdays, I always do the watermark um, service, the porch. And then on Sundays, I started going to church. If I work that Sunday, then what I do is I just do the live session and let it play like while I'm working. I, I haven't been happier. Like I've just been so happy with my life, with everything that's going on now that I'm getting closer with God and finding myself. And actually going out on my own. I feel like I was so stuck on like my relationship and like we only did things together. I've been doing things by myself. And it's just been giving like just so much joy. That's, I feel like I caught you up to speed of where we left off with my videos. To come, there's gonna be get ready with me videos, day in the life videos, daily dose videos. Um, hopefully we can get back to doing those. I mean, obviously I can't record that much in the pharmacy because of HIPAA, but um, you know, I wanna record what I can and you know, bring it to you guys. I want you guys to hold me accountable in the comments, like, if you have not seen me post, be like, hey, girl, where you at? Supposed to be one video a week, hello. I love to do it, but you know, sometimes my depression takes over and I just lay in bed. So, if you guys can help me out, that'd be great. So, if you're new, hit that subscribe button down below. If you were still subscribed to me to this day, thank you for hanging on. I'm back, hopefully for good. And let's get this ball rolling. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!